Hello and welcome to The Chart Show. I'm Victoria Scholar and each week I'll be sharing my analysis on three key stories that are getting a lot of interest among investors. I'll be breaking them down, not just from a fundamental perspective, but with technical analysis on the charts as well. This week's three charts are Apple, Oil and LVMH. It was a record-breaking quarter for Apple. Shares in the tech giant jumped after revenue for the festive quarter hit an all-time high of nearly £93 billion, rising 11% year-on-year, partly thanks to strong iPhone demand in China. Apple managed to score revenues of more than £1 billion a day on average in the final three months of the year. It scored £53.5 billion in iPhone sales in the quarter, while services revenue, which includes Apple Music and Apple TV, rose by 20 percent to 15 billion pounds. The company successfully weathered headwinds around Omicron, problems with the global supply chain and the chip shortages as well. iPhone sales also enjoyed their best ever revenue as Apple forecasts another set of record numbers for the March quarter when it reports next period. Let's take a look now at the chart of Apple because shares have faced a brutal sell-off amid the turmoil that struck the US tech sector in January. However, shares have retraced more than half of this sell-off already, with the potential for the stock to retest the highs ahead. At the start of the year, Apple became the first company to reach a valuation of $3 trillion, with the potential for its value to hit this level once again. 180 is the next major round number resistance level to watch, with a break above potentially paving the way for further gains. Oil is enjoying a winning streak. It logged its best month in January in over a year, despite the broader downturn in equity markets. Brent crude pushed above $90 for the first time in January since 2014. Robust demand, coupled with geopolitical tensions and an OPEC mentality to drip feed supply, have all underpinned an upward trend line for Brent and WTI. Energy shares such as BP have been in favour among investors this month on the II platform, underpinned by an oil and gas price inflationary environment, which has helped to drive the outperformance for the FTSE 100 in January. The FTSE 100 eked out a modest gain despite broader declines for global markets. Let's take a look at the chart now of Brent crude because the commodity suffered heavy losses in the final months of 2021. But since the December trough, oil has been on a winning streak, trading in an ascending trend line with high highs and higher lows, breaking above resistance at the October high around $86 and breaching $90 a barrel. If we see an extension of the uptrend, then $95 is the next key level to watch in the coming weeks, while $100 could be the next major round number resistance level to I. Meanwhile, look for support at $86 with a break below, potentially spurring further losses. Shares in LVMH rose after annual sales hit 64.2 billion euros, while net profit reached 12 billion euros, both coming in ahead of analysts' expectations. It's the fashion and leather goods division that sharply outperformed, scoring sales of more than 30 billion euros last year, up 42% versus 2019 before COVID-19, thanks to its highly popular mega brands like Dior and Louis Vuitton. The luxury brand conglomerate has enjoyed robust demand from the US and China as high-end customer demand appears to be relatively unscathed from the backdrop of pandemic uncertainty. What this is telling us is that luxury retail is proving its relative resilience against rising inflation and cost pressures as these companies can just convert higher costs into higher prices and customers will still buy them. Let's take a look now at the chart of LVMH because shares have enjoyed a strong uptrend with an ascending trend line and higher highs and higher lows. Despite the pullback in January, the stock failed to break below the upward trend line, instead bouncing off and gapping higher this week. It looks as though the stock could be on track to log a higher high, breaking above its peak from the start of January with major resistance at 760. A breach of that level could mark the beginning of an extension of that uptrend. In terms of key support, look out for 650 as the major round number level to watch. If we were to see a break below on a sustained basis, that could suggest that the uptrend is losing steam with the possibility for a new sideways or even downtrend.